We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has investigated how an extraterrestrial stone found on Earth provides clues about supernova events. Twisted in a spiral of spite, two stars collide in pain. Shock waves of remorse that echo over lengths once impossible to fathom. Seared in desperate rage, these remnants of conflict gather dust in the void of our betweens. Scattered over burning sands, the violence of their birth etched into faces that we trace with trembling hands. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the journal Icarus, which has found that a stone found on Earth is likely to have been produced during one of the most energetic events in the universe. The Hypatia stone, named after the famous astronomer and mathematician Hypatia of Alexandria, is a small stone that was found in the Great Sand Sea in southwestern Egypt in 1996. An analysis of its chemical composition has previously shown that this stone is extraterrestrial in nature. Similarly, investigations into the proportions of argon, helium, neon, xenon and nitrogen in the stone have shown that it didn't come from any recognised comets or meteorites. So where did it come from? In this new study, researchers used chemical analysis to rule out a large number of potential origins for the stone with its unique chemical fingerprint indicating that it was likely formed during a supernova type 1a explosion. This supernova is also known as a thermonuclear supernova and occurs in a binary or double star system when the two stars collide under certain conditions. If this hypothesis is correct, the Hypatia stone would be the first tangible evidence on Earth of a supernova type 1a explosion, one of the most energetic events in the universe. Further investigations into the Hypatia stone could help to provide clues into how these supernovae form and the ways in which the materials created in these explosions have since helped to shape the universe. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Twisted in a spiral of spite, two stars collide in pain, shockwaves of remorse that echo over lengths once impossible to fathom. Seared in desperate rage, these remnants of conflict gather dust in the void of our betweens. Scattered over burning sands, the violence of their birth etched into faces that we trace with trembling hands. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading We Astronomers by Rebecca Elson. Rebecca Elson was a Canadian-American astronomer and poet who was born in Montreal, Quebec in 1960. Elson gained a master's degree in physics from the University of British Columbia, after which she gained a PhD in 1986 at the Institute of Astronomy in Christ's College, Cambridge University. Elson was one of the first scientists to use measurements from the Hubble Space Telescope to look back into the early stages of the universe. She was also an accomplished poet and writer, and much of her work can be found in the collection A Responsibility to Awe, which was published posthumously by Carcanet Press in 2001, after her death in 1999. We Astronomers by Rebecca Elson We astronomers are nomads, merchants, circus people, or the earth our tent. 
we are industrious. We breed enthusiasms, honour our responsibility to all. But the universe has moved a long way off. Sometimes I confess, starlight seems too sharp, and like the moon I bend my face to the ground, to the small patch where each foot falls, before it falls. And I forget to ask questions, and only count things. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.